Welcome to this video. We're going to solve two problems uh, where we see different climate models for planets. A climate model is just a diagram like this that tells you what's happening in a planet, how the radiation is being uh, received and reflected and all that stuff. Now climate models um, will, I think always in our cases in IB, they will always involve cases where the atmosphere is at its equilibrium temperature, so it's absorbing as much radiation as it emits, and the surface is at equilibrium temperature, so it absorbs as much radiation as it emits. They're both at equilibrium, and we call those particular climate models where there's equilibrium, we call them energy balance climate models. So this is an energy balance climate model right here. All right, then, we are going to find three things. The albedo of the planet as a whole, the albedo of the atmosphere alone, and the albedo of just the surface on the bottom. First, we remember albedo. Whoop, albedo is the reflected solar radiation divided by the incident solar radiation. And I'm emphasizing solar in my, in my speech here. One reason is because there's this great jazz song called Solar, uh, Solar, Solar, and uh, I think it's Miles Davis originally, but you check it out. There's a really great version by Brad Meldow. But also, solar is crucial to the concept of albedo. In IB, albedo is exclusively applied to solar radiation. So we're talking about reflected solar radiation here. The albedo of the planet, that's the first thing. So in the numerator, we add up the total solar radiation reflected by the entire planet. That means atmosphere and surface together, because those are both part of the planet. So we add those two up in the numerator, and together they reflect 0.50i. Right, that's just 0.35 plus 0.15. How much radiation from the sun is incident on the planet? It's just the value i. So I add this plus this in the numerator, and that's the denominator, and I get the i's cancel out, i i, and this is just 0.5. Next up is the albedo of the, uh, of the atmosphere alone. The numerator is where we put how much solar radiation just the atmosphere reflects. The atmosphere only reflects 0.35i. We don't count that because that's not reflection by the atmosphere. Okay, what's the incident solar radiation on the atmosphere? Well, all I of it, of the solar radiation, hits the atmosphere. So the denominator is I. The I's cancel out, and we get 0 0.35. 35 percent of the solar radiation striking the atmosphere is reflected. Whereas 50% of the solar radiation, 50% of the solar radiation striking the planet as on, you know, on the whole is reflected. All right, last thing is the surface. The surface is a little bit more complex. <clears throat> the numerator is easy. We just put how much solar radiation is reflected by the surface. And the surface reflects 0.15i here. Okay. What do we put in the denominator? We put the amount of solar radiation incident on the planet. So how much solar radiation actually hits the planet? You'll see it's this arrow right here, that arrow. So the amount coming in is I, and then we take away 0.35 because it's reflected. So how much goes down to the surface? It's the full I minus the 0.35 that's taken away, that's reflected. And I minus 0.35I is just 0.65I. So how much of the solar radiation strikes the planet's surface? 0.65I. That's our denominator. So in our calculators, we can, you know, the I's will cancel out and we do 0.15 over 0.65, and this is 0.23.
The next one I'm going to do very quickly. Mm, where is it? Here it is. <clears throat> so look for a moment. Extra information. Re-radiated. We don't need to know how much is re-radiated. We don't need to know how much the surface radiates. These are not solar... That's not solar radiation. Re-radiated by atmosphere. There's no solar radiation there, so we don't care about those numbers. Albedo is only concerned with the solar radiation that's reflected. Okay, so next one. First, let's identify the extra info. Re-radiated by atmosphere. That's not solar radiation. We don't care about it with albedo. Radiated by surface, not solar. We don't care. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Then we are going to find first the albedo of the planet, then the albedo of the atmosphere, then the albedo of the surface. The planet reflects on the whole, while the atmosphere reflects 0.2i, and the surface reflects 0.1i. What do we have striking the planet? The full I. So 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1, that gives 0 0.3. And this evaluates to 0 0.30. What about the atmosphere? The atmosphere alone only reflects 0 0.20 I. How much is incident? All I. So when we divide by the I, it cancels out, and we have just 0 0.20. What about the surface? If point 0 0.20 is reflected, I comes in, and then we take away point 0.20. How much makes it to the surface? 0.80 I. So the amount of solar radiation incident on the surface is 0.80 I. And the amount of the 0.80, how much does the surface reflect? It reflects 10 of the 0.80. 10i of the point 80i. So point 10 divided by point 80 is point 125. And for sig figs, if we round to two sig figs, since the givens all have two, well not that one, that one wasn't used, two sig figs, two sig figs, um, we will round this to point 13. So that's how you solve these problems.